Hi, Hi everyone. Yeah. I'm Gary. I'm Ronnie. We are Garon Stitchery. The house of Garon Tottenbach. Yeah, I'm in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome yeah. back. Uh, if you're new, uh, we are a floss tube channel about cross stitch and we are cross stitch shop owners ourselves. We own a, an online shop and we are currently in the process of uh, getting a LNS brick and mortar shop uh, set up in Ozark, Alabama. Yes. Still a couple more months away. <laughs> hmm. A lot of work to go. Yeah, but it's fun. Yes. Yes. Um, in the end of the video, we put in a picture of the little progress in the front. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah, we're going to run over there after the video and take a picture, so it might be a little dark. Oh, yes. Yeah. Because by... So we get the latest update. <laughs> how about the video is going to be done? Yeah. Yeah. They're all the front. Hope so. Fingers crossed. Cross fingers. All right. So um, we wanna thank you guys for coming back and spending your time with us. Uh, we also had a lot of positive comments from last week's video with our new segment. I am so happy, yes, yes thank yes. you guys. Um, I really, each time I read that comment, I'm yeah. feeling my heart of happiness. Yeah, I'm, I'm really happy I'm so you, guys, glad. you guys are enjoying it. And yes. uh, it's fun because I keep, as you <laughs> notice, I was watching the video after we recorded, and I'm like, oh wow, I did like a lot of those patterns too. <laughs> <laughs> so my stash will be growing apparently <laughs> uh we do have one last christmas card yes that uh, made it to us from the mail to our That's friend really karen from florida yeah thank you karen so well with it actually being um a nativity card um january we got it before january 6th so yeah it's it's within season still awesome Okay, um, first let's see. We have what is oh no, no, uh, no we, FFOs this weeps. week. Uh, Only you want to show my pillow again. It's so pretty. <laughs> you know what? It's gonna be, sh it's gonna be in the store. So you guys will be able to look at it in the store. <laughs> All right, um, so let's look at whips. Whips, let's do your whip. First, Not whip. All okay. right, I'm working in letters from Nora with the R, and this is um my progress. And I'm thinking, oh, well, I'm gonna this one on. Um, oh, oh. terrific mm -hmm. Fortnite fabrics. Yeah, sixteen count. Sixteen count. Yeah, yeah. That is all my progress, and I'm thinking she goes sleeping now because I was working in the stocking, mm -hmm. and I found out it's a lot of white color. I know uh, Johnny, she finished her uh, stocking, and was the biggest no man in my heart was filled up with pain <laughs> because I'm working in a Santa workshop, Stony Creek, and you see there's a lot of white. Regular I do 100 stitches an hour. And I do one part, 100 stitches, and take me two and a half hours. I don't see any white. It's light. It's oh. white there. Okay. But it's not bright white. Okay. It's white. <laughs> this, this part of this uh, pink, yeah. here is a lot of white. But it's looking beige there on the on the fabric, which is kind of cool. It's white <laughs> and it's mixed mixed with a light, very light yellows. It's around three or four tons of yellows there. Okay. And but it's it's uh wow. it's crazy for me okay. wow. because this Look chart is in that little part. Then crossed it for three hundred stitches. Is three stitches the one color, four stitches the one color, and it's a lot of thread changes, yeah. and it's very light for my eyes. Okay. And what Ronnie's doing is to make sure he doesn't have to frog, is he's um, only stitching the color next to it. So he's not counting really far. If he's got one color, he's not counting all over the place to get that yeah. color in. Um, because he's he's doing it, it's easier for him to keep just changing the colors and to do that. Yeah. So, you know, I lose myself and yeah. I do that many times and I had to frog. Yeah. And uh, let me tell you guys, frog, 
wide and wide. It's a little funny. Yeah. <laughs> Well, when you when when you're gonna do <laughs> next, you're gonna do with the Jack in the Box, which is the purple. Looks like there's a couple of solid purples there, like three purples. Yes. So that might give um, you some. Um, maybe maybe three. Yeah, could be more. <laughs> maybe three. I don't know how many yeah. is there because you don't see it. Uh -huh. It's like when you see here, you don't see as how many colors this little thing has. Huh? Yeah. And there's a lot of there. It's very pretty. Yeah, but now I'm gonna concentrate. I'm going to keep concentrating on my stocking. Okay. That cool. I'm not fighting too much. All right. So I stitched uh, this week, as as January is um, Designer Focus Month for Leela Studios. And I'm stitching with a group of others from our Sunday Zoom. I'm stitching Let Freedom Ring. And this is where I'm at right now. I'm stitching it on 32 count Cosmic Platinum by Dames of the Needle. Uh, two threads over two with the called for threads. And um, and right now I finished page four. So I've got page one through four. And then I'll be picking up page five, which is the last page on the top. So uh, there's, I think there's 17 pages total. So I don't, I haven't looked ahead to see if they're full pages or if there's like some slivers. I just know that there's a page number that goes up to 17. But um I'm loving it. This is Cosmic Platinum is my favorite patriotic fabric. And I did the back stitch already. I'm doing the back stitching as I go. Um, I I had enough of it up that I didn't want to post it. Oh, so, okay. Um, so, yeah, it's Let Freedom Ring by Leela Studios. Okay, and then... But it, you know, it's so addictive. It really is. Um, because the way it's laid out, there's some one over, I think I'm almost finished with all of the one over one stitches right in here. There's just like, I think United States is down here. And then I don't think there's any more. I didn't look ahead to see if there's any more one over one, but it's so addictive. And you know, you get the little, you get this little piece done. Ooh, ooh. And then you get this little piece. Ooh, ooh. And so it's, it's very fun because it's constantly changing. And I like that. I like um, moving to different types of motifs and you're stitching different things. It's my favorite stitching. And uh, I'm doing Ronnie's, uh, hashtag Ronnie's suck it to me style, his stocking style. And I'm showing the pattern on this one because I don't have enough done for you guys to see, really see what it is unless you know the pattern. So this is, I'm doing August stocking by Plum Street Samplers. I'm a middle starter. So I started in the middle with, with the cat, right there and it's on 36 count uh patriot brew by r and r so um i did my 400 plus stitches down here and tonight i'm gonna i want to finish up these circles because they're, they're driving me crazy so i'm going to finish up those tonight before i pick up let freedom ring so i am in the i'm in the heel <laughs> so to speak so this is the middle and this is the heel over here and then I've got this next orange pumpkin, and then there's a shamrock pumpkin right here. Uh, it's not shamrock, what is it? Chevron, sorry. <laughs> I messed up my S's. So this is where I'm at on that one. And I'm using the called for cotton threads. Yeah, I cannot stitch that way. I have to start the top to bottom or I lose myself. Well, I am, I I'm a, I do that with Leo, mm -hmm. remember? Yeah. I'm gonna start Leo in the center and <laughs> And I had to throw that out because I lose myself. And I was Leo. I think it was Leo. Okay. Yeah. I can't do center. Yeah. Well, what I do is technically I'm once I pick the center, then I just start stitching all the way down. Mm -hmm. And then when it comes time for the other, I just flip my pattern upside and down. And try that way. And, I can. And then I slip the fabric and the pattern upside down. So it doesn't bother me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm jealous, but I can. Yeah. And see some people start from the bottom up. Oh, I can't do that. And I, yeah, no. Yeah, so it looks like once I get the two big pumpkins done down here, the next big, big thing is this house. And the rest of it's a bunch of these little motifs. I think the tree looks like it goes fairly, fairly quickly. I mean, I know it's very long, but it's like a bunch of little, like, ooh, jump over here, jump over here. So it looks like it's gonna be a fun piece right there. Yeah. Yeah. You almost done? Oh no, no. 
um, I'm only stitching on it one day a week. I stitch on it Thursdays to get my 400. I say 400, so I just stitch on it that one day Thursday, and then whatever I get done, I get done. Yeah. And I stitch on my stocking on Mondays, but I was working on the R, and I go, so, ooh, Sunday. Sunday yeah. after, almost the afternoon. Well, Zoom was running, mm -hmm. and I was working, and then ah, 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 so enjoyable. And Monday, I keep going in the in the start in, in the in the R, oh. Norris. And uh, this Tuesday, I'm thinking was no, I got it third. Oh, one one, I got it just Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday, I'm, I'm go back and I'm stuck in, yes. Yeah. I think you, the reason you like the Nora... I don't complete this concept. I think the reason you like the Nora right now is because <laughs> that's just one color. You're just coming down, and it's fun. Yeah. Until you get bored with it. Once you get bored, and you're like, okay, let me switch to this, and I can No, do I don't get bored, but I'm, I have to do my 300 decisions. <laughs> okay. I almost don't make it. Yeah. And then I start playing with that one. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. So we almost, last week I, I forgot to show the fabric of the month colors and the cottage <laughs> garden thread of the month colors. So um, I got them this week to show you guys what the colors were. So first I'm gonna show you the cottage garden um, thread colors. Um, we we work with cottage garden threads. They, they come up with a theme and they say, oh, you like this, you like that? And we go with it. So it's been last, the first year we did it, we just did colors, blues and reds and greens. And it was kind of like, okay, this year we, we went with themes. So this uh, month's threads that went out were um, ice creams. So it's uh, sherbet, caramel fudge, pistachio, grape, and raspberry. So they're, it's what they call ice cream flavors. So um, they're not very cohesive together, but they go by the theme. So it's great for filling in a color in your collection. So like here's this raspberry is great for for like some of the Christmas stitching. This is gonna be great for some of the spring stitching. The caramel, I love this caramel color right now. Oh, yeah, it is. Caramel beautiful. fudge, because it's got the two browns in there. It's perfect for a solid, for a single pattern that you went with a bunch of um, like autumn Quakers or something like that. I'm thinking. I oh yeah, oh. Um, the autumn Quaker from Primrose uh, Cottages. They did it with orange, but I think it would look really cool with the with the brown and the and the gold um, caramel color. <laughs> uh, and then this is another fun color right here. This is another one that would be great for like a, a summer or spring type of Quaker. So that's what these are. These colors are fun. I think you're really gonna like next month's colors because I'm really excited for next month's colors. I won't give it away. I promise. Okay. <laughs> All right. So the colors for this month on the fabric colors. Um, the first one is um, this is a dark green and it's from Atomic Ranch. It's called Service. So when you look at it, for me, it reminds me of the military uniform and they they it's one of their colors and they named it. So I thought it was very cool. Um, is it? Is it reading green? No, before it was perfect. There? Right there. Okay. Yeah. So I think it's a perfect color. I think it'd be like great to do um, like, well, I've got a thread right here. I got pulled out because this was from my thing. So I'm, I was thinking like a, um, like a monocolored um, piece, like a, one of the Alexander Adelaide pieces. I mean, I just think of that right there, that, that color this is um baguette baguette and that just pops off there i think that a piece stitch with that one color would be cool mm. all right and then now my other this one i asked it was a custom dyed for from fox and rabbit and it's i asked for like a red but not red red kind of like so you could use because reds are hard to stitch on find the right pattern but i wanted like more primitive type red very soft and um, this is called Australian Christmas Bush. Yeah. So she sent me the picture of that plant and the and this looks exactly like the little petals. I'll pop a picture in here. Hopefully I can find this when I'm watching for editing. <laughs> and so this is a very pretty color. I, I, it's one of my favorites so far this year, but it's only yeah. January. <laughs> Brent did a wonderful job with yes. that color. 
And then we probably say, what? <laughs> Thank you, Bren. Thank you. All right, so that. Brendan, Bren, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I knew he was gonna go there. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh, and we are, are, those of you that signed up in the Fox and Rabbit Fabric, we, we started that club in May of last year. Um, there is no in for that club, so it's just like the Bag of the Month Club. Once you're in, you're in as long as we run the club. Uh, yep. We do ask that you at least do 12 months. That way we um, we keep the numbers right. We're not constantly changing people and get kind of crazy. Yeah. Um, and this month on the 15th of January, which is Monday, the um, new Fabric of the Month Club, Steph, uh, Stephanie Fabrics by Stephanie and Seraphin Fabrics. So every other month will be one or the other. And then um, that goes out on the 15th of every month. We did it on the 15th because... We have bag of the month, thread of the month, two fabrics of the month, all going out on the 28th. And that's just too much um, volume mm -hmm. for us to ship it. ship it and meet our, our high shipping standard. So we, yes. it's um, to keep our quality high, we have to make certain sacrifices. Yeah. So um, I think it's, it's still, it's still going to be fun. I love the colors that I've seen so far. And I think you guys are going to enjoy the clubs. I asked them to... Have fun and play with it. So um, I think it's going to be great. Yeah. Um, did you have anything else? No. Okay. So now we're going to go for what's new in the shop. Yeah. I I'm, I'm have something in my head that I can't say it, but it's coming back and say it. <laughs> He'll let us know. <laughs> yeah. All right. So this is... <coughs> um, Excuse me. Hot off the mail truck because it just came in a few minutes ago before the video this is shannon christine's christmas manor oh my god when i saw this i'm like where was this at why was this i mean i need this piece i love this look at this is that not the most gorgeous piece yes i know there's snowflakes but it's like giant snowflakes i mean and then you've got this down here which has got the opening in the house comes up through there so, and it's all done with DMC. Oh, I remember what I'm going to say. Uh -huh. Market. Market is coming. Okay, we'll talk about that after we do in the show. Okay. So we so we want to spend a little but bit of time. You know, put it. an announcement there. I'm going to write it now. Yeah. Oh, God. That is when I say my head. All right. Sorry okay. to interrupt you, but right. I so, say my head. Hey, it's important. Because <laughs> everybody's asking what's going on. Yeah. All right, so here is Christmas Manor, again, by Shannon Beautiful. Christine. It's just gorgeous. Super yeah. cute. Mm -hmm. You can skip the, the snowman, the snowflakes. Oh, no, because it's all on the bottom. You could skip the bottom if you didn't want to do the bottom, but it's so pretty. I, I couldn't couldn't yeah. skip it. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. Yeah. I just see it, too. And this one, now I saw this one. I have to blame Dina from Half Stitch Cross Stitch because... She showed this pattern and I had to scurry all over the place and look for it because it's called Rudolph's Reindeer Games. Oh. Is that not the cutest? I mean, those two pieces would go great as little companion pieces because that's got a reindeer on No, the other one had reindeer on it. No. A little one, yes. A little one? So yes. it's like the baby and this is the, the yeah. bigger one. So yeah, these were great yeah, pieces together. Yeah, they can be together. Yeah. Perfect. Or not. I mean, but... Okay, you did this one and I did that one. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. We, that'll work. But this is cute. This is uh, all done with DMC. And uh, this is called... This is from uh, Cherry Hill Stitchery. And it's called Rudolph's Reindeer Games. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Both of the yeah. charts. So I'm going to be watching Dina's progress while she stitches that. So I I think it's going to... She's going to have it knocked out before I know it. <laughs> All right, and then we had, we got it um, just a few minutes ago. Also, uh, Dirty Annie's. This is Extra Fries. I love this one right here. She's so sassy. I thought you said Extra Fries, not Exercise. <laughs> so that's cute. I love, I love her little people like this. Those are fun. These two, I want to show them together because you don't know which one to show first. So we got, we have a hissing booth and a kissing booth. 
So for our cat and dog lovers out there, look at that, that's so cute. This looks like Ginger, like Ginger's actually working for once. So yeah, I think these are both cute. What are they done with? Um, classic Color Works and Weeks Dye Works. They're awesome colors. That is cute. Like the same colors. Yeah. Just in time for Valentine's Day. Yeah. Yeah. I'm buying that one. And then she's got her, um, this is Southern Magnolia, her Gulf Coast Treasure series. So this is Southern Magnolia for our flower lovers. You like flowers? Yeah, I do. Yeah. And then this is the Gulf Coast Treasures. This is Crawfish, which reminds me, I, I still have to do her, I still want to do her, um, her other one that she did, the Christmas one, the Rudolph. Uh -huh. One with, that was really pretty. Okay. Ooh, look at this fancy, fancy. Uh, I'll let Ronnie pronounce this oh, one. Oh, I love that one. La che pas la patate. Better than what I could say. <laughs> there it is. La che pas la patate. Yeah. What language is that? I think it's French because it's Cajun because okay. she's she's talking about Cajun so it's a house in Louisiana okay originally from Cajun country so it's um it's done with needlepoint silk and belsois and there are um nope I, it's it there's no DMC conversion but it's own yeah it's only um needlepoint silks and belsois which is really pretty. There's not any of them that you would use more than one skein. So if you had some of these colors already in your stash, I think you'd have more than enough to um, to, to to do it. It's beautiful. Yeah. And I had to Google that word. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's probably, the, she puts the story on the back. Okay, okay. <laughs> He's gonna be reading. Okay. So while he's reading, the latest Erica Michaels pattern is out. It's uh, Let It Snow, and it's a berry and a little pin pillow. Look at that. I'm found. She said this war in Cajun. Cajun? Cajun. Cajun, sorry. Mean, don't drop the potato. Oh, don't drop the potato. Oh, I like that. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's kind of... <laughs> Don't drop the potato. Oh, she's picking potatoes. Yeah, it is a plantation of potatoes. See, everything sounds very romantic and sweet in, in, in French, right? Or Cajun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this yeah. is Let It Snow from Erica Michaels. And she's doing that diagonal stuff again. I love how she's changed the perspective of the berries. And this and one is yeah. right here. And it's got the little buttons and some little snowflakes that goes on the, the pillow and the berry. A little heart. Yeah. You know, a little heart that goes right there. Yep. It's a and heart, then, a snowflake. Yeah. Two times. There's snowflakes. a snowflake goes here. And then she's got the other snowflake right there on top of the berry. Yeah. Yeah. Very cute. Okay. This, where am I at? Okay. Like this, here. Okay. So now we. And put it uh, in order and um, this by size. Oh, okay. That's fine. And this is uh, Primrose Cottage, uh, Warm Winter Wishes. Look at that. That's a good one. I love it because it's only got six colors. And so if you wanted to tweak the red, tweak the green, make it more bright red, uh, green green, or holly green, it's easy to do because it's not that many colors. Yeah. So, so those are easy to tweak the hues. That's cute. Yeah. And then here's a companion piece. Sip, stitch, repeat. Look at this. Yeah, this is cute. I love this one. This one you could do in any color. It doesn't have to be Christmas, but it's sip, stitch, repeat. And it's got the spool there. So she, they did the X's on the spool and then they went back on top of it and did like, like you've got thread wrapped around it, long stitches or back stitching, either mm. one. So it's fun. I like that. Yeah. Oh, so you finished it this way as a pillow. Oh, it's, it's, uh, this is the companion piece. It's right that here. One. No, it's another one that we had earlier. Oh. This, this was oh, another yeah. one that we showed earlier last month. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
Oops. Because then this one, what she had in the back is this one. Yeah. That way you know if you're going to do a grouping, mm -hmm. then they all go together in series. This is Valentine's Day Quaker. Look at that. I love these Quakers. So it's a Valentine's Day Quaker. And this one is using classic color works. It's a ripe melon, and you would need three skeins. But as I know many of you are in the Cottage Garden Thread Club, um, I pulled out Ruby because that would brighten it up. Look at that. It's very oh, poppy. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, or you could do like Cupid. You could make it red for, you know, mm -hmm. if pink's not your color. But I mean, there's there's so many pretty pinks out there that you could um, just look through your, we got these collections of colors now. So start going through and seeing, I can swap it out. Yeah. And that's why people say, well, what do you use these colors for? Anything you want. <laughs> yeah. That could be beautiful. Yeah. It's very bright. I love that, that this, rich tone. This is so, yeah. That's Ruby. And then there was another one, uh, yeah. Xenia, which is more red and purple. So I thought those were cute too. All right, now this is, it, oh, this one's not. And this is Winter Quaker. It's back in the shop. And this one she did with Battleship, two skeins from uh, Color and Cotton. But I listed in the website three or four different um, uh, cottage garden threads that would work. Like the if you wanted it a dark blue, but not with any variegation, I think Sawyer from Cottage Garden Samplings is a great one, which I got back in. And there was a couple of other there's a very pretty blue ones that you want to go dark. There's a there's an icy blue one right there that goes from light to top that will look very cool if you had darker fabric. Yeah. All right. And then we have the Heart and Hand imprints. Sneak. It's the imprints series. It's called Imprints Love and Heart. And it's one of her little, little cutie little ones. So you can stitch them together or you can probably split them out like she's... She's done this in the past where she split them out, made little pillows. So there's that one. And that's, mm -hmm. I just want to see. Okay, yeah, it's just um, two colors. Very simple. Very cool. When I say simple, I say easy. That's what I'm, my head is. Yeah. Look easy to make it. Or, or in other words. I say simple, but then the real or, word is easy. In other words, it could be like a quick stitch. Uh, there you yeah. go. Very good. Yeah. So here, he always had that word for me. Uh, 30 years. <laughs> I'm learning. It feels like 30. It's only 28. <laughs> <laughs> now he's doing numbers. I think it's 29. <laughs> All right. So this is the new kit. This is the 2024 Collector's Heart from Heart and Hand. Every year she does one and she does uh, semi kits. So what she does, this one has the fabric the linen and a wooden butterfly. So yeah, I'll, um, I'll put it this way. the fabric this is, is the little butterfly there. And this is the fabric. Yeah. We're yeah. The fabric is 32 count platinum Belfast. And then um, the threads are all classic color works and weeks dye works. So there's that it's a limited edition. Yeah, the kits are the, the chart and the, the little kit thing is limited edition. So she does a new one every year and she doesn't re-release them again. So we already do our pre-orders. Yeah. We already invoiced it. They're all shipped to everybody gone. Yeah. And yeah. I did notice that in our website, we actually do have a couple of the 2022 collector hearts out there. Oh, okay. So that's why sometimes you think, when oh, we're in age, we will show it. Yeah. Okay, so Ronnie only pulled out one of these Santas. Is that how many one? Yeah, there's another oh. one. Uh, it's the Colonial Santa series. Let me go get it. They're, they look similar, so I, I understand. Because it, it's Colonial Santas. This is the Plymouth Santa. It's a Mill Hill kit with the paper and all the thread, all the beads. So these are um, their take on Santas. Wow. And this next one. Oh, yeah. It's coming out the bits. All the stuff. Okay. And then this it one. Colonial Santa. But this one is called James Jamestown. Huh? Jamestown Santa. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's, the collection yeah. is Colonial Santa. Yeah, that's why it got confusing because the, the real name of the pattern is at the bottom in very little letters. Yeah. So that's why I wanted to let you know that when we... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, but I also put the M number there too. On the, mm. so it's, these are fun. Boy, Mount Santa and Jameson. Yep. All right. 
Now, this is the latest Bella Filipina pattern. We have a bunch of people that's got this on pre-order. We are still waiting. I already sent the email out to them that they've already got their chart set aside and the items that we have so far. We're just waiting on a few items to complete their pre-orders and then we'll invoice them. But we did post the remaining charts available on the website. This is Bella Filipina's uh, Julia the Firefly Princess. Mm. Again, it's in plastic, so tell me how... Good. Perfect. Oh, I did it right. Yeah. And we do have the called suggested fabric from Be Stitch Me on order. She says she should be dyeing that for us sometime this month. So we'll have that come in in 28 and 32, I think. I, there might be some other... We'll, we'll let you guys know when it comes in. Okay, next is... Um, these are not new patterns from Nor Corbett, but these are ones that we had someone reach out to us and they wanted to do this series. So we got the pattern and the bead packs for them. So these are um, the her Nor Corbett's um, holiday, holiday Village. And they're all very similar colors, very um, icy looking pastel. This is called the Gothic House. Uh, yeah, there is good. It's pretty. Okay. And then the next one is called Mr. Darby's House. That's pretty. I like that one. And then, of course, I really, really love this next one because it's uh, the coffee house. And it's got it's got a little horse. It's got the tree in the front window. It's got the carriage. Is that the carriage or it's a sleigh? So it's a horse, horse in a sleigh. It's called the coffee house. And then we have um, we have the Victorian house. There's that. Okay. And the bead pack has treasures in them because they all have like this one has a has a um, mother of pearl moon half moon in it. And some of these others have like icicles or snowflakes. They all have some different kind of um, treasures in the uh, bead pack. And this is, this one's a little bit odd, but it is part of the series. There's always one person in that group that stands out. And if you don't know who it is, normally it's probably you. This is the pink Edwardian house. Isn't that pretty? And this is the mother of pearl. I think it's an angel head and wings. That's a little mm. mother of pearl. And then there's like some long icicle jewel things, right? right here on the side and then there's that right there in the bead pack so this one is the pink house pink edwardian house i love these um when people ask for these older patterns that's still available because you don't you forget that they were out there all right now let's come here let's see we have um did we get the whole series yes all right this is starry night part two this is uh, a pennant, and it's the, um, which one is it? The Shepherds. Looks like the Shepherds. It's kind of, oh, there you go. You can see it. So you got two little images there. They are stitched normally over one, and they're full coverage, and these are from um, Blackberry Lane. It's very, very nice. Yeah. Yep, and it's only 39 stitches by 55 stitches, so they're not very big. There's a ton of um, DMCs to get all the variegation in that. So this is the Shepherds. Oh, okay, and I don't have another. There's one with the Nativity, and there's one, two, and three. But this next one is another series from her. This is the, this one is the Journey to Bethlehem. Oh my God, this is so pretty. Look how, again, this and it's. And it is, um, I can't find the stitch count right offhand, but there's a very, it's another small one. It's one over one. And that one coming with, here, oh. here. Okay. <laughs> this one coming with a little. Palm tree and beads for make the, um, yeah. the little ornament. Yeah. Yeah. That's very so quick. cute. Yeah. And, oh, this this one, the Three Wise Men from that series, is one of my favorites. Oh, there's a 
in here too. Is this chest? Yeah, yeah, many of these ones. Yeah. And this has got it's got a little camel and beads. No, these ones have it. Oh yeah. Yes, so Who's there that? is. Look at that nativity. Look at that. There's the three wise men going in. This one had camel. Mm -hmm. And this. Oh, let me get you over there. There you go. So the camel, camel goes the camel goes down here on the tassel and then the beads are right there. Yeah, yeah. And I'm no kidding when I'm saying there's a lot of DMC for this little piece. Look at all those DMC colors. That's so you can get all the detail. And these are done on over one. So I mean, I think I don't know how you should be able to do them on a little bit bigger count. It would be fun. I'd love to see people who stitch these on on something other than over one to see how how they turn out because I can imagine with the detail it's probably really cute this is uh keeping watch this would be the shepherd one look at that I mean they look so amazing and that one has a sheep right the sheep go down the, sh and the, the sheep and the, and the tassel and then the beads mm -hmm. go right there mm, I like those okay and this next one here is a Southern Welcome. There's no, no nothing with this one. So it's the pineapple, traditional pineapple with, um, would that be pomegranates? I think it's pomegranates Look and, like. and um, some greenery. So they finished it either in an oval or in a triangle. I think I like the oval a little better. The triangle's kind of cool, but it's cute. It'd be great for Christmas tree. And this is the same one. Oh. Oh, this one is one that I've had in my stash for a while, and um, it's uh, naughty or nice. And I will be stitching this one, but I'm not going to do it over one. I'm going to do it over two on 28 count or thir over two on 32 count because it's pretty much a full coverage, but it's going to be big. And I don't care because I think it's gorgeous. I mean, look at the detail in that little guy. And this is naughty or naughty or nice. So she did it over one to make it small for an ornament. I want it big and frame it. I think it's going to be great. Hmm. And then, so this was a series we had last year from, from the, or the year before, from the heart. This is January Quaker. And we had somebody ask for this, so we got it for him. This is another series, the monthly Quakers from, from the heart, that you would look great with the cottage garden threads. Because mm -hmm. they, they use, normally use one or two colors. You get a, your companion colors, and you can play with them, swap them out. This is the um, Christmas Parade. We had a lot of people get this um, last month or the month before. And so we were able to finally get it back in stock again. It was out for a while at the distributors. So um, this one's a fun one. I do. You know, I thought there were snowflakes on here, but there's really, it's hearts and letters and little motifs. So it's not snowflakes. There's a little snowman, which is a bunch of snowflakes made into a, into a shape. <laughs> it is cute. Yeah, it is. And it's all called for DMC, but um, there was, I think someone, I heard someone said that they were going to stitch the animals with overdyed so they could get some um, contrast or detail in the, uh, in the animals, which was cool. And so now we have the second house in the fabulous house series from Cottage Garden. This is the castle. Isn't that pretty? That is gorgeous. I'm not sure if that's a white horse or a unicorn because it's got one stitch there above its head, which I think is a horn or it could be the ear. It's hard to tell. I think you'd have to know when you stitch it. Hmm. Yeah. And this was, and we got the first one back, <laughs> Fabulous House, Santa's House is back. So because all these are I know there's 12 houses, but because they're all different, they're not all Christmas, they're all not winter themed. The next one is coming out is going to be the greenhouse. I would stitch the castle and Santa's house in the same fabric or together, one or the other. I think they'd be great companions. And then I think I would use the other houses and try to do them by season. That way you get to enjoy it more and it doesn't, it looks, just one big piece is kind of overwhelming for me. 
And here is the, um, this is from the Tiny Modernist Winter Traditions Sampler. Wow. I think there was an autumn one that you guys were doing recently, but so this would be the Winter Traditions. Look at that, isn't that pretty? That, I don't know what it's called, in carousel. Slate. Oh, the slate. The slate, mm -hmm. the slate with the horse is beautiful. All right. Is there anyone else out there other than me that when they see it, they try to do this on things? Does that mean I'm on my phone too much when I'm trying to zoom in on something? <laughs> okay, it's just me. But I, it, it's a really cute one. I love the fabric color too. They, um, they use dark cobble, cobblestone. So it's like a chocolate. Okay. And again, our favorite designer that we love to try to say, Les Petites Croix or Little Stitches. Crosses. <laughs> little crosses. crosses. Little Crosses. This is uh, Christmas Father Arrives. Is that Santa? I love this guy. The only thing I would not oh do, I would not do these lines going here. I. That's a little oh, back stitch. Yeah, they're backstitch lines. Yeah. I, I think it's like I, to make it look like he's under glass. I don't think he needs it. But look at that face. Yeah, that uh, backstitch is a snow cold there. But that is the most gorgeous Santa ever. So fun. So it's uh, Christmas Father Arrives. Oh. I wonder why she put it in the backstitch. Maybe there. like snowflakes? Like snow? Like or the snow ween. The ween? No, it's the ween. Okay. Is that ween? I love everything but that. That I yeah. don't, I don't need that. Okay, now we've got some fun goodies for you guys. As we've had people approach us and say, "Can we carry more of the 141, um, 141 Chantil design um, wood wood products?" Mm. And we have reached out and we got a couple more. Um, and some of these are really fun for finishing, and some of these are fun tools to use. This is the bow, the bow tool set. So it helps you make little bows for your cross stitch. It's got the, it's got the, so it, what it is, it's actually two of these little fork thingies. So you would tie your ribbon around there and then slide it off and you'd have the perfect bow. Oh. So like, and then it's got the measurements on there. It's got the 3.5, one point something and there. the picture is the numbers. Oh yeah, there you go, you can see the picture. There, so there, that way you can help make the little bitty bows or medium sized bows, any side bows for your pillows or your your ornaments. So this is a great tool. Mm. Okay. I have to learn how to do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the next one here, this one, I, I'll show a picture of it done because these are not, well, I'll show you a picture of it up this is a called a panorama display. So basically what it is, it's a piece of wood like this, and then it's got the two slat pieces. This would go in the bottom here, and then the next one you'd glue at the bottom to make it have a finish edge. And then you would put your flat fold here. So you would paint it mm. and put your flat fold basically right here. So you could either do it um, as, a, as a monochromatic, piece you know like brown or something neutral like white and then you could put magnets on here and then you could put washers on your flat fold finish and then magnetize it out for the season oh cool so i was thinking like the um uh, maybe some of the long skinny pieces that we do that have different types of, of things on them so um and it does have the uh the link it's um it's 12 inches by five inches. So anything that would fit within that square would be great for this piece. And then you can pop it out and display it around. And then of course we got Santa's delivery displays back in stock again for the Teresa Colgate Santa's delivery pattern. It's done on black paper, black perforated paper. We still have that on order. Um, Everybody and their mother is trying to get the black perforated paper and Wichelt Mill Hill is the sole supplier. <laughs> so they know, they're aware, they are working on it. <laughs> so we will continue following up with them. And then this little guy, I saw this and I thought it was super cute. 
it's a little piece of wood and you know what i'll take it out because I, I don't have it in there it's uh it's an envelope it's an envelope it says dear santa so you could finish it you know how they used to do the envelopes used to be red red white and blue um around for the envelopes for international mm -hmm. mail so you could do that and then you could put like a little uh your little cross stitch like santa here or something like that or like a letter naughty naughty or nice list or any uh piece that's great that you would want to put on this and then hang it up or put a ribbon on it and do the ribbon up like that i mean there's so many possibilities with this of course you would have to do the finishing yourself the staining or the painting or however you want to do it mm. but it was too cute to not to say "Ooh, i love that all right the last one this one is very involved very cool and um it's designed for the heart and hand um tiny towns you know the long ones that you do on the drum so this is the size that, that you would need to finish it and you could pop these off on and off with magnets or you could um i'll pop I'm, all these i pop pictures into what it looks like so it's a 3d uh piece this right here is what you would put finish and put your stitching on and then the other thing makes this little tripod thing here that you would sit this down in so you can buy the replacement boards so all of your stuff can be on the boards and then every month swap out the board or put magnets on the board and do cardboard either way it's a great idea of having a seasonal display at the front door that's that doesn't take up a lot of space mm. and it's got great instructions there on how to finish it and um so see it would look like that okay Again, I popped a picture in. I'll be doing a lot of picture popping in this week. <laughs> so that, that is, is all new and back in the store. Wow. Some great things. I mean, I didn't yeah. realize, I was thinking when we got, when we we're getting the stuff together that I said, we, I don't think we had a lot of shipments come in, but then it does, a lot of things do come in and a um, little bit at a time and you forget that it's, it's come in. So uh, we're going to say right now, if you are... No, uh, we're going with uh, announcements. Yes, announcements. We'll do the announcement now, and then we'll do something else next. Yeah. Um, as we're getting ready for the season of Nashville Needlework Market, um, that will be... Um, that's the weekend of March 1st through the 3rd, whatever that first weekend of March is. The first... My the birthday third. weekend. <laughs> yes <laughs> so uh what we do is all the shops go to nashville and they do a, we buy from the designers uh, at a wholesale show that's for uh for the trade only and we get all the latest items and we buy them and bring them back to sell them to you guys on our website or in the stores um starting sometime in february the sponsor of the event will send our information out to the designers of what shops are going and then the designers will start sending us the information of what they're going to release some designers send out um full pictures full descriptions so that we're all able to get ready some designers like to play games and do snapshots here and snapshots there and then nobody knows what it is till it finally comes out later so back and forth it's all fun and games it's really mm -hmm. entertaining this is the this is our super bowl of the year uh we our best time of the year for all the greatest new things coming out um and we will be doing pre-orders and we have a section on our website that's called uh 2024 nashville needlework marketplace i think market and we'll be placing everything on there it'll show sold out but it's all pre-order items and we ask that you email us the email that's on there or click on the contact us in the website with um, because a lot of emails aren't reflective of what your name is. So please put your name on there. Um, the name of the chart, the name of the designer, because many designers have similar name design patterns and we would hate to get the wrong pattern for you. And zip code. Zip code. And, <coughs> and, and, and please, I'm uh, begging everybody in this time of the year, that no uh do multiple orders to different shops 
please if you order from us commit to that order or pre-order do not waste the time to other shops order in multiple shops some people order to us to other shops and there they decide in the last minute got it only one shop that is waste our time that is waste our, well not waste the money because we we sell it later but it's a, a, a progress we have and we begging to please do no uh, do multiple orders to the same item to different shops yeah. and the, um display myself yeah i think yes <laughs> i got it so basically <coughs> you know there are sometimes there's limited items with limited numbers yes so instead of having 25 shops try to find try to buy that one item for one customer 25 times mm. which is um a very bad disservice to the shops the designers and fellow customers yeah that um you know there's limited amount of items on some items not many they yeah. they've really pretty good about not doing that all the time yeah. but last year we do not do uh fabric pre-order we not go do it again this year we go with the fabric by the flow yeah well we can get it uh we got it and uh, we not doing uh, pre-orders because we no want to mess it up yeah yeah. And uh, we prefer gather the fabric in the, there and bring it with us. So last uh, couple of years ago was a mess. Mm -hmm. The the um, uh, fabric dyer no had the fabric in the shop and take too long for us to wait. And our goal is go to the market, coming home, separate all the pre-orders and start sending invoices. Yes. And there... Start ship shipping. it the sooner we can. <laughs> yes. uh, the first year we had 700 pre-orders. Mm -hmm. Last year we had 1,000 pre-orders. And God help us see if we can get it more. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so so we, we uh, believe in getting all the items that you pre-ordered, packed up, and shipped out as quickly as possible. Yes. Um, as you know, we like to do fast shipping and we like to keep everything in line and that's why we do a lot of uh pre-organization and that's why also for deadlines for pre-orders each designer has a different deadline for their pre-order mm -hmm. and it, that's why on the item if it has a different deadline you need to contact us for that item before that deadline because we have to send that order to that designer that day yes. and that's what we get if we only had 10 people want that pre-order for that item and that's the day we put in the tent. And if you decide to come like, oh, two weeks later and say, oh, can I pre-order? You can't because it could be a limited number item. Uh, so that's why pre-order by the deadline for each item is very critical. We know it's going to be more work on us for getting multiple emails, yeah. but we prefer to take care of you by making sure you get all the pre-ordered items by the designer's deadline. And if there's no um designer's deadline date we ask that it's whatever the last 20th or something like that of february 20 something we'll we'll get a more exact date so that way we have time to make our lists and um because we are like two little uh, organized fools with our little list i got my list he's oh, got his see list the... and we run up and down <laughs> so we make sure we have everything and we're not lost yeah so um it's no a vacation time in market, guys. It's a run and run and run. Yeah. And because when you guys pre-order from us, we do our best to have everything for you. Yeah. Yeah. And it's run. Mm -hmm. he, well, how many floors was? Four floors. He's got Four two. Four floors. He got it. I got it two floors and he got it two floors. Yeah. And we come in the fourth floor, third floor, me, and two and one him. Yeah. So it we, is fun. Yeah. So we always hit all our pre-orders first, make sure that we've got the pre-orders before, and then we hit through like the last couple of days, last day or so. No, we'll last through, day. We go through and say, oh, what did we miss? So yeah. um and we go and visit with the with the designers for a few minutes because we don't want waste their time either. Yeah. Because they are very busy and um I'm uh I don't think it's right to the uh, stores to go the designer and chatting, chatting, chatting when they are when other stores in line yeah. waiting. 
Some, some, some designers, the, the lines are humongous. Yeah. But yeah. I know we, we're all excited to actually, yeah. you know, as shops and designers to actually physically communicate with everyone. So we, we get carried away and we kind of forget. And then no, I know me. <laughs> I know. Well, sometimes I get carried away, and then sometimes mm -hmm. you know the spouse of, of one designer may say, "Okay, uh, we need to get back to work." <laughs> <laughs> so um, it's it's all fun games. Yeah. Uh, it is the best time yeah. of the year, I think. And what they they uh, they have one uh, website for one uh, a group on Facebook for designers and stores, and somebody was asking to the designers asking the customers, us, to come in Sunday and give an appointment for chatting and, and oh, okay. well, be kind of cool because they are busy there. They are busy. Yeah. And normally and Sunday. They are so tired by the second day. Yeah, by Sunday afternoon, evening, they're kind of like, they're yes. ready to go home. Yes. So. And I understand because yeah. I'm there shopping and they are there selling me. Yeah. Yeah, because once we, once we pack up and we drive home Sunday night, Monday morning, we're dividing out things and putting them in the envelopes and right doing invoices. Yeah. And as soon as they're paid, we ship that moment. So um, yeah, it's it's fun. It it's what we love to do. And um, organization and teamwork between us and teamwork with you guys make it an enjoyable market for everyone. Yeah, the process is this: you guys, us, designers. Yeah. Because, boom, boom, line, yeah. yeah. And we, we ask, please, when you do make your list and send them to us, please don't send just photo snapshots because it um, it crashes my email. <laughs> just just type, just please type. Because type the names, it's easy for us to. Yeah. The that name way. of the designer, yeah. or the, this, the chart, or the ch item. Yeah. Item, I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. So, um, and please, one, item for shop you can buy to 10 shops but not the same item to yeah. the shop yeah because there, there was there was in the past people who would go order things at multiple shops and whoever got it first then they would ignore the other people oh tell us one customer say oh no i already got it because my lns around the corner have it first of course yeah and it's no right for us for nobody nobody yeah yeah all right so if you are are ready to leave you can go ahead and leave because we are now getting ready to start our new segment that we call shop the shop we be designers yep this week is brought to you by be designers <laughs> <laughs> yeah they're, they're not they're not the sec they're they're designers that start with the letter b <laughs> yeah um and the new in the shop is uh, a designer would be um blackberry Black lane blackberry lane we have other ones. I don't want to confuse you. Is uh, because this is brand new yeah. in the store. Yeah, yeah. So the other one ha we have in the store is in another box. Okay. Let's and we put it back. We put it out. Uh, Ben Creek because Ben Creek was uh, designer focused last month. A few months ago, like November, oh. I think. We know one overwhelming. Yeah. You so guys. Let's take a few minutes. Clean the table. And then we'll get ready. Go clean. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Are you guys ready? Are you ready for Shop the Shop? These are the letter B designers in our Shop the Shop. Yes. And we are thinking we go doing one drawer because we had three drawers on B. But then say, no, that was so fun. We go doing all the bees in one time. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So there may be some weeks where we do multiple letters because some designers, some letters don't have a lot of designers in them. Mm -hmm. So we'll, it'll be. Uh, we go play with the with the flow. Yeah. So okay, let me get this one first. Okay. Wow. <laughs> all right. So the first designer that we're going to be talking about in the shop to shop is Blackberry Lane. And, <laughs> and some of you may be having deja vu because <coughs> we did show some uh, new to the shop uh, Blackberry Lane designs. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then, so we have, uh, this is a very fun one. It's got multiple um, ways to finish it. This is Goblins on Parade. So it's got a bell pull. It's got some little smalls. It's got 
That's so cute. Look at, I mean, do it that way as a big drum. You could do a drum, you could do a bell pull. Very fun. And this is Goblins on Parade. So you do an orange and green or yellow or purple, all kinds of fun colors. I like it. Yeah. And then we have this one right here. This is um, Sugar Gumdrops. I love this one. Look at that. That is so cute. And this one brings some finishing um, candy, candy yeah. beads, yeah. like candy beads with a little beads. Yeah, to make the hanger yeah. on the top of the ornament. So this is, um, the. there's a few, there's a little bit of one over one stitches for the little guy, but I think most of it's all two over two stitches. So um, that that's fun. Again, this one right here, this is my favorite, 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 favorite of all time, because it's got the little elf on the top of the roof. He's done one over one, but everything else is two over two. And there he is, that's the back of him, and this is the front of him. So it's a front and, and back. I'm doing the same sugar. Yeah. So it's a front and back of the ornament, so you can, so it will spin around. That one was front and back also. Oh, okay. I'm, yeah. I'm, I didn't see what it is for. Yeah, it's for it's like for the, the big, uh, tassel, is what they call them? To hang it, the hanger. It's an ornament. Yeah, but like a tassel, no? Mm, look, you do it like a... Is that tassel the word? No, tassel's not the word. It's a hanger. Like a loop. Okay. A loop. Uh, like a loop. Yeah. Okay. We Where get there eventually. Tassel. Tassel is at the bottom. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. Uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so my head, my words go crazy. Yeah. But I knew where you were at. <laughs> I'm good. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I love her. She really does give you some very fun things. This is gingerbread mittens. And this has got some little clamps that you use to hang them up with. So you got, it's a, it's two mittens. It's a left and a right. And then you stitch the front and the back and you make them into their little 3D mittens. And there's the hooks. They got little reindeers or snowflakes on them. Snowflakes. The snowflakes. So there's the clips to clip them on your tree or garland or wherever you want to clip them on. And then this is the back of, of them. Let me see if I can show it. Hmm. Where go? You, you clip it on the side to hang it on the tree. It had to open it, guys. I'm sorry. I wanted to see it anyway. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. The little clip. Yeah. So you would, I guess you would hang hang it on by this piece and then clip this piece on your stitching. Yeah. There you go. That's so cool. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so there's that. Let me do that. That little bag is hard to open. Yeah. Okay, so we just showed this one. This was naughty or nice. So we're good there. Oh, yeah. Coming back to this. All right. One. So here's the uh, another mitten. This one's my favorite one because it's got the little reindeer on there and it's got the clips also. This is reindeer in flight. So it's a front and a back. Right? It's front and back. Mm -hmm. No. Is it a left and a right? Oh, I'm confused. I think it's a front and a back or a left and a right. But the thumbs are going the same direction. I'm, I don't know. I'm confused. Is it good? Okay, all right, I'm confused. Maybe you guys can figure it out. I don't know if it's a front and a back or two, two mittens. It's two mittens. Oh. But the thumbs are going the same direction. Maybe it's a deer. What, maybe it's two deers? No, it's one deer. Hmm. But I, I love that one because there's not a lot of stitching on it. And then see here's it's got the little um, clips again. Now you confuse me too. I know, I'm trying to like figure out my, my head goes this way or goes that way. <laughs> I don't know. All right. There are so many of her patterns that I enjoy. Oh, he's gotta take a look. <laughs> uh -huh. All right, so while he's playing, yeah, so it's, two, it's two mittens that you finish. Yeah, you, that picture is run. Oh, so it's like a front and back. Yeah. Okay, so they showed two. And, uh, yeah, one. It's the front and back. Yeah. Okay. 
So it's one mitten. Yeah, but they they do uh, um, uh, the picture. I'm trying not to show the pattern. Yeah, it's that way. Oh, there's two. There's two mittens. There's yeah. okay. You do one deer that way, and the other deer this way, and the back is the snowflakes. Okay. Yeah. But they put Ooh. it. The 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 pictures are a little weird. The the picture the, they put it run. Yeah, so you, can, so you can see it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, when they put it, the, when they flip. Oh, they flip that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> when they flip this one, the other way for see the deer. It'll be the right way. It'll go be the right way. Okay. I'm sorry, with... guys, but I had to. You got two of these. It just messed with my head. So this. <laughs> you messed it with mine. <laughs> So this one right here is one of my favorites that I, I saw stitched up and I just love it because you make garland or you make little ornaments with it. It's um, Sweet Treats for Santa. It's right here. Sweet Treats for Santa. So it's like a little figgy pudding, a little gingerbread face, a little peppermint. And so you can make them as little ornaments to come in a garland or a little, put them in like a little tin and make them as single ornaments. I love the garland idea. I think it'd be super cute to have a stitched garland like that with the little things coming around. Mm -hmm. Or the little Santa face on there and a Mrs. Claus. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, here. Yeah. Yeah, so cute. Mm -hmm. And they're not that very big, so they're like about that big. So it would, you would take, make a whole bunch of them and just make your garland. This is another one. That, this is my favorite one, and you can tell why. This is Witch's Night Out, and it's done on green. <laughs> Again, this is one where you could do it as a drum, a little fob, a little topper, little pillows, or just all together as one big piece, which is Night Out. Oh, I love that moon. Yeah. Oh my God, did you see that moon? Holy, yeah. holy moly. Where do you see that? It's right here at the oh, top. I, I'm, I'm looking at the chart. Look at that moon. It's right there. I can't see you guys. Yeah, right there at the top. He's like super cool. Super cool moon. Oh. All right. Now. Going with. These are oldies but goodies. This is black. This is birds of a feather. They mm. no longer design anymore, but their charts no. are still available. Oh, okay. So um, these are really great ones. This is. If you're doing the stocking style, you can always start because there's no end date or start date on the stocking style. This is Angel of Peace Christmas stocking. So you get the angel blowing the horn, and you stitch the toe and the heel. Look at that. This is a nice big stocking too. So it's uh, 203 wide by 317 long. So it's very cool. And now we have <laughs> All Hollis Night. If you guys remember my uh, my my uh, whip video, this is the one where I only have the guy's chest and arms done. I don't even have all of it. I just have that little bit of him done. The little uh, father and son going trick-or-treating. All Hollows, um, All Hollows Night. And it's stitched with All Weeks Die Works threads. I really want to get that guy out and work on him. For my, um, I want to have him finish for October. And here's two of my, I, well, I don't stitch a lot of cats, but I do love these two. I think they're super cute. This is Beware of Cat. I might put it in Princess Leia's room because she's not a fan of cats. Beware of Cat. And they did the candy corn. I would get the fake glass candy corns and do around there because I'm afraid of sugar and bugs. So that's a really cool, fun cat. They have the pattern on the back, so I gotta be careful when I do. And this guy, I wasn't sure about him, but the longer I've watched this one, the more I like him. He's one of those ones that kind of grow on you like a fungus. This is Fat Cat. Look at his belly, he's got all that candy in there. I mean, and his eyes are like, I can't eat another piece of candy. Too many treats, It's but it's Fat Cat. Does he like them? He's got like, fish in there there's a rat there's there's bones and is it a worm or a snake he's eating something this is snake yeah all right and then this is holiday seasons 
So it's four different um, charts, four different little panels, and they have like broken out by, by what seasons are in those four months. So you've got Christmas, Easter. Uh, winter, you've got Easter and St. Patrick's Day, you got Thanksgiving and Halloween, you got summer and Fourth of July kind of picnic stuff. So those are very fun ones that you could pop out and, and put in for season seasonal displays, little pin pillows or something like that. Mm -hmm. And this is Lost Spirits. This is this would be the nut this is the companion piece for the for the All Hallows Eve. This this is the either this would be the girl or the I think this is the sister. So you had the father and son, and here's the sister pumpkin head with her cat. Does her cat have a pumpkin head on too? Oh my god. Yeah. Okay, the cat's got a pumpkin head on, she's got a pumpkin head, and it says, Lost spirits do not embody me on this night, all hollows eve. Oh, Oh, this was done back in 2001. So this is an oldie, but it's still a goodie. Oh, man. All right here is another stocking. This is a, the first one was an angel. This one is a girl. This is special delivery stocking. It's got a little, she's an ice skater and it's a little rabbit. So you have, look at that, isn't that cute? These are all done with Weeks Dye Works threads. And... I love those. Conversion to DMC, no? Yep, yeah, they got DMC on there too because you use a lot of thread. But for some some pieces, like maybe the sweater, you definitely want to do the over dyed to get that variegation and flow. But some of the others, you may want to do DMC. So you can you can pick and choose. Yeah. And this one is my favorite one. This one I have in my stash to do. This is Snow Day Christmas Stocking. So it's a snowman with all the elves. And I'm thinking of changing some of the red on the elves to have a, an elf or two in a green outfit. You know, you can have all red elves. Oh, whoa, whoa. And then here is, oops, oh, this way. And this is the last one in the, in the series of their stockings, Wish Upon a Star. And this Santa is a groovy, groovy Santa. Look at this, two different reds. And they've got like a pattern stitched in there. So you got the pattern of the thread. You've got the, the pattern of the design. It's so fun. And it's got the green. So there's two stockings that's got green in the check. And there's two stockings that's got red. So you could, if you got four people, it's a great little display. Um, they don't have the names on the top of them. But I think these are great ones for just display to decorate with. You could always put a little name tag on the edge if you wanted to. Like a little ornament. And that was Birds of Feathers Designers. Mm -hmm. And this one right here. And now and I'm going to let Ronnie do the next designer so that we can do this together. The Bendistitious. Bendistitchy. Sorry. <laughs> this one is Cleopatra. There's Miss Cleo, Cleopatra, mm -hmm. it's number 67. Uh, I like her show because we go by number. Yes. And of course, I don't have an order number because I'm going alphabetical. <laughs> <laughs> this one is Halloween Sorry so Cat. It's like an old school Halloween one from the, it's so the cute. 50s. Maybe 60, 50s they or 60s. They had this a pumpkin. This one is a berry. Hills, Hills strawberry patch. Yeah, Hildy. So it's a, it's a spring witch riding a ladybug. With a bat. Nice. It's oh, a ladybug with yeah. a bat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> This one is Nero Heathen. Heathen. Mm -hmm. I'm not too good with the words. You're good. Okay. This is Patriotic Pinky. Yeah, Pinky. This Pinky. one's nice because it's got the American flag 
And she also gives you the option to change it out to Can Canadian and Australian. And I think there's another flag up there. Is that, who is that? This is the Canadian. Canadian. England. That is England? Australian. Oh. And then I don't know what the other flag is on the top. It, she says it in the pattern, but there's another one there. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty. <clears throat> oh, this is gorgeous. This is a pendulum board. A butterfly. Mm hmm. Pendulum board. You do a little circle finish, or you can make it into a drum, the top uh, of a drum. Maybe just no. Mm -hmm. Rephrase. Oh, it's like a. Um, oh, it's more like a. Um, was it the, the board's. Pendulum. It's a pendulum. pendulum. The yes, no. Oh, maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Yes, no. <laughs> Rephrase. Okay. All right. This one is Rose, Rose's, Rose's Dream Tree. Yeah. Her daughter um, drew that picture and she converted it into a cross stitch. Yeah. And the last but not least for uh, Bendy Stitchy is a Spooky Hollow. Isn't that cute with the green eyes? Yeah. I think that you weren't doing this one. No, not yet. Huh. I mean, and that is then this species. Okay. I will do Bella Filipina. <laughs> yeah, because that names I never can pronounce it right. Yeah, uh, I will not pronounce these names right either, but I will show them to you so you can see them. You can always pause, rewind, or stop the video anytime to get the name from the chart. <laughs> and it's weird because so many names, well, no, many names I can't because uh, Philippines, I believe they mix their language, they song areas, they do more. 50-50 Spanish. Oh, they have Spanish? Yeah, I have one, one uh, lady from Philippines and she can understand my Spanish very well because in her area, uh -huh. they speak like, like, I don't know how to say it. Uh, like, uh, like, um, dialect. Yeah, dialect. Dialect, okay. Spanish dialect. Yeah. All right. So here is, uh, Amihan. Ami Amihan, deity of the wind. And Ronnie's gonna watch to make sure I got I don't have too much glare for you guys. Yeah, she is. Is. Okay. And then we have Ac Ascent. Ascent of the Moth Queen. Ascent of the Moth Queen. Oh wow, she's so pretty. <coughs> oh, she would be nice on a dark blue fabric. Yeah, these ones are still. Yeah. We go, we and put this it is out Aria. Elemental Queen of Air. I love her. She is one of my favorites. I have her to do. Yeah. Oh, speak of the devil, Bellatrix. I I need to finish her one day. She's gorgeous, yeah. girl. And this is this is a different one for them. This is um, Bird of Paradise, but but he, but he's designed with his detail. Attention to detail and color theory. It's very pretty. Yeah. Oh, here's another one. Cleopatra, Queen of the Nile. I love her too. Okay. Ooh, look, it's Entrant Enchantress of the Abyss. Wow, 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 wow. Look at that. Um, They're good, it's good. Okay. Felt like I had to the more, the more go when you move it, the light. Yeah, yeah, I get more light. Yeah, she is gorgeous. Ooh, fairy iridescence. Oh, wow. Um, uh, I try to do a little more down there. Yeah. Oh, wow. Fairy iridescence. And then here's Greta Gold Broom. Look at her. Oh, she, that is better. Yeah, the side is better. Corner. Yeah. Yeah. So she is very pretty there. Oh, I love her. 
Here's a little witch driving her broom. Yep. Here is goddess Aphrodite. Mm. Right there. There we go. Goddess Aphrodite. She is pretty. Love the swan. Hollyberry Pixie. <laughs> I got her to do. Oh, and I got the next one to do too. Okay, so I love his pixies. Okay, more more to here. Uh, because I can see that. Yeah, there, there we go. Right there. All right, I want to put it up closer so you can see it. <laughs> yeah. All right, and this is the hummingbird pixie. She is my girl. Oh, she's... And she's done with some glow in the dark beads, which are really cool. Okay. This is Maiden of Tabathia. Tabathia. There's her name down there. But she's pretty too. All this ones are beautiful. His attention to detail with the faces are are just so good. The this curbs. Is, yeah, Mag Magwin. I've got her to do also. Mm -hmm. There you go, Magwin. Right. Maria Mal Malkin. This is very Asian. Very Asian. I like that one. Put the name more up. Yeah, that way go. they can see the name too. Yeah. That is perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we have Nerdy, Nerdy Galantia. She's like sitting in a seashell. Galantia. Oh, wow. Okay. Sorry. I'm looking at it and I'm giving it to you guys. There you go. The ones with the darker fabric backgrounds seem to show up better on the camera for me. I'm thinking when we put more attention in the details and the shots is when we show it to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here is uh, Olivia, the forest witch. And we do have... And... Okay, let it go. All right, you got to do up for the name. And try the... Right. Yeah, and try the... Yeah. There you go. Because right. some plastic, some animal grid, the other. Yeah, one. so that one we have a fabric, the custom fabric that Atomic Ranch is making for us or printing for us that I will be stitching mine on. Uh, we, I just got communication from them. They will be shipping it with our fabric of the month. So if you're in the fabric of the month club and you pre-order that special fabric, we're going to invoice them the same day and ship them the same day. So that way you get... In one package. <laughs> uh, this is Phoenix Queen. Look in that wings. Yeah. I don't know what fabric I do her on. Wow. She needs a better fabric, I think, to make her pop so you can see the detail of her wings and stuff. There's so much detail in her. I love her. What is her name? Phoenix Queen. Phoenix Queen. Mm -hmm. And this is Pearl of the Orient Seas. That one, she is cool. Pon Pontus and Thalias. I can surprise you not do that one yet. Uh, it's in my list. I have to finish um, Bellatrix. Bellatrix has put a curse on me. I can't start another one until I finish her. Oh. Yeah. Pontus and Thalias. Yeah, and this is Queen Sari. For the ladies who love purples, look at those oh, purples, very cool. Man. She's got those fiery wings too. Yeah. I mean, his details are just, oh, she's so cute. This is Queen Flower Fairy. She's very, she's very not too risky. She's got a little feather, uh, wings down here. Very cute. And this is Raina Paz. Reina, Reina Pass. Yeah, I would say she's more yeah. um, Queen Peace, more Spanish. Um, Spanish. That's where the some of the Spanish probably relates into. Mm -hmm. okay. Reina Pass is Queen of Peace. Okay. This gorgeous. Here is Soul Tropica. I love the fabric choice, of course. But look at that. Here she is. Oh, uh, the circle with the flowers on there. It really breaks up, makes it look like a different um, aspect for a mermaid. Because mm -hmm. sometimes mermaids are always like boom, 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 boom. But that's kind of a, like a different perspective. So tropical. Yeah. 
And then we have Talia, deity of the stars. Look at her. She's very pretty. Mm. Uh, and that's she, you know, her on on um Phantom. Phantom fabric right there. I think that's perfect for her. Yeah. This one is one of my other ones I really want to do. This is Temptress of the Cursed Sea. I see her as like a Halloween uh, mermaid. That's why I love her so much. Mm. She's very evil, spooky, kind of vicious, kind of, yeah, very Halloween y for me. And that coming. And this is my guy, Triton. I have him. He's hanging up. He, he was so much fun to stitch. Yeah, very fun. I love this guy. And I want to stitch this one too. This is the Mad Tea Party. I'm, I don't do a lot of the Alice in Wonderland patterns. There's so many of them out there. But this one really speaks to me. It's so, the detail and the little nods of here and here and here, little bitty things. It doesn't scream at you, but it's very subtle and very cool. I like this series that he's doing. I can't wait to see what he's doing next. Because here's the Poison Apple. Again, the Poison Apple is, is part of the series. So, so far there's only two. So this is the Snow White white one, which, you know, it doesn't throw that nursery, that nursery rhyme fable into your face, but it looks very elegant. Yeah. Ooh, she's pretty. Look at that skin. Yurda? Your, your, your... Urduha. Your, Urduha. Urduha. Okay, there she is. Look at that golden skin. Yeah. Oh, wow, very pretty. And that purple. Oh, it looks like she's on a purple. Yeah, purple yeah. fabric. Yeah. All right, that. That was Bella Filipina. Okay. And we going with... Yeah, we are doing um, Barefoot New Heart. Yep. And this is um, the Anchor series, which if you saw my Whip Parade, you would not recognize this is the same pattern because I don't have a lot done. <laughs> so I stitched mine. I started mine on the candy <coughs> corn fabric and I just outlined it. So this is what it would look like when it's stitched. This is the Webmaster. So you would stitch, fill in the orange, do the spider and the spider web. This is a charm that you would probably add later. But uh, since I, I did my own candy corn, I think it's gonna be a really fun one once it's done. So this is Webmaster from Barefoot Needle Art. And then they, since they did, there's Halloween and here's Ronnie's favorite. This is Banker Series Patriotic. Look at that one. That's a cool one. Wait, I have two the same. There you go. <laughs> and then we have a Christmas one. Uh, Don't Stop Believing. Isn't that fun? Oops, my fingers hold hiding the name. Don't Stop Believing. That's a cool one. Just doing a little quickie. Okay, I saw this one stitched up from their model. This is the most gorgeous thing I have ever seen. There's so much detail in it. So much. Uh, this picture does not do it justice. This is Natu. Nati. Look at that. Awesome for the for Nally. the nautical people. But it's so much detail. There's like it's all Nally. these colors and stuff in the roping. It's very 3D. You can actually, you just, it doesn't come through on this picture. But the stitched one is amazing when it's stitched. Yeah, but it's naughty. Not naughty, like nautical, naughty. I'm thinking of naughty. Okay, here is relax by the sea. That's a cool one. Mm -hmm. oh, I love this one. Uh, toes in the sand, stitching in hand. Is uh, what is calling coin? It's a um, penny, no, it's a dollar, a sand dollar, sand dollar, yeah, yeah, yeah. So here is stitch in the hand, toes in the sand, stitching in the hand, stitch in the hand, stitching at the beach. Yeah. Oh, and this one was this one's really cute too. Vintage American beacon, 
It's a patriotic lighthouse for our lighthouse people out there. Yeah. I love how it's very subtle. The colors are not like popping your face red, white, and blue, mm. but it's like a soft, sandy kind of look. Antique look. Yeah, weathered, like a weathered look from the from the beach. Yeah. Right. So that was body food needle art. Okay. And then I will yep, I'll give you this box. Thank you, sir. All right. So our next designer is Barbara Anna. And this is Dreaming Cleo. I need to be careful because she has patterns on the back. This is Dreaming Cleo. Look at that Cleopatra on a dark chocolate that fabric. That is the color. So yeah. We've popular. got a we've got a dark chocolate fabric from Weeks that works called um, Chestnut. This mm. would look gorgeous on that. Mm. Very similar to my Nutcracker. Okay. And then we have, oh, Dear Joy. Oh, this is cute. Look at the little white deer. Dear Joy. That's fun. I love I love a deer in clothing. Okay, and then we have oh here it is. Then we have here something wicked. Oh, I have this one, the stitch. Oh, I remember this one. Something wicked. She is fun. Super cute. Here it is. Okay. Um does that go with this? No way. Somehow the other we got off. I don't know where the pattern is for that. Uh oh. There it is. The deer. Uh, we'll set it aside. We'll find it. Okay. okay. So here is. Is that clear? Yeah. Okay. We'll All right. This next one is Steampunk Fox. Look at that. That's a fun one. I love all the little details around the fox. Of course, an animal in a dress is always fun to do. Okay. Then we have, um, oh, I did this one, Spooky Tree. I did it on the gingham fabric over there. Spooky Tree. Very cute. You could do them on purple, but if you did them on purple, <coughs> you would have to probably change the little purple, there's like purple things down here, so you could change those out. But um, this is a very fun one. You could do it multiple colors. Hmm. It went really quick, too. It's just DMC. Very fun. One of my favorites. And this one is a Portuguese bird sampler. Ooh, look at that. Okay. Portuguese bird sampler. That is fun. Oh, look at all those words. Uh, it's like a love thing, isn't it? Love story. Yeah, love, friendship. His love and friendship must express. It's with the man and the woman. Of course, it's there. Okay. Ooh, I like this one. <gasps> oh, wow. Long may, she, uh, long may she wave. It's Uncle Sam on a giant crow or a bird, blackbird or something. That is so cool. That is beautiful. Yeah. And the eagle on the top there. Oh, I love that. Yeah. This is, okay, I see it here. This is Christmas cake. Oh, that's cute. I forgot about this one. It's, it's like a little village as a cake. See, it's tiered up. Da, da, da. Little Santas. Is that Mr. And Mrs. Santa there or Santa people? I think it's Mr. And Mrs. Santa. Little reindeer, Santa and a reindeer. Yeah, this, I bet this picture no, no help the design. This does not help the design. It because, is gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah, it's Mrs. Mrs. Claus and Santa with a little cat. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so, I better of this. so this next one is uh, Black Cat Hollow. We have this is part one. I know I'm pretty sure we have part one, two, and three. But this is part one, which looks like this. But when you stitch the whole thing together, it would look like that. 
So there's more, more to it. But you could do each individual piece and do it as little drums, which would be fun, unless you wanted to do the big square piece. So I'm pretty sure we have the other parts. Uh, and this is um, Deer Dreams. Oh, another deer. Oh, this one's cute. So here's Deer Dreams. There's the little heart. Oh, there she is. Super cute. And here's your missing pattern. Yeah. Yeah. The, the I think you got flipped. The, they got flipped yeah. somewhere or the other. And this was Barbara and Design. Anna design. Barbara. She's got, Anna. She's got some very pretty designs. I love her stuff. Oh boy. Are you guys ready? Oh boy. And they're coming. Next one, Blackbird design. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be a while. So um, take a sip, take a drink, get a break, come back. We'll see you here in a few seconds. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> All right, this is Pledge of Affection. Uh, the Tender Heart series number one chart. Little bird there. Super cute. All right. And this one is a book with a whole bunch of little smalls in it. Uh, my heart is true. My heart is true. So it's a bunch of little patterns that you do. And then it's got this one back here on it too. So there's like a little heart, there's a little deer, a bunch of little patterns. So it's a cute little book. Hmm. Okay. And then we have, this is from the Garden Club series. This is number four, Sweet Home. So there's Sweet Home. I'm showing the name. Am I showing the name? Oh, there it is. Sometimes the name's on the top, sometimes it's on the bottom. So that's the Sweet Garden Series Sweet Home. This is number number six from the Garden Club. It's Tulip and Lily. So with it, you could probably stitch, you could stitch the whole series as a, as a block with different fabrics and then put them all together. I think that was the idea. Or individual little pin pillows and, and decorate your little dough bowl. This is Garden Club series number 10. How does the lily grow? These are very cute. And I love it on each pattern as they show them, they show the series growing, growing in the, in the, in the back once it's finished. Yeah. Uh, oh, look at, oh, this is cute. This, oh, I love this one. Yeah. This is the Fairy Garden. This is Garden Club Series number 11. And it's got a little house. I guess it's a little fairy. That is, I love that one too. Yeah, a little basket with flowers and a little house. Normally you have a giant house with a big bird on top of it. This time you get a little house with inside of a basket of flowers. Hmm. Oh, this is number 12. Garden Club Series all in a row. So I think it's two patterns that you sew together. Yes. So it's there are two little patterns are sewn together. They there are together. Here they are separate. So um, yeah. Yeah. Why? Why do it together? Well, because like the designers separate. the designers are quilters. Oh. One of them is a quilter. Oh. So the idea was to take the stitching and make it into a sewn piece that quilt look okay yeah so here is uh we have the stocking series this is um love is in the air so this would be the for the month of february so you get so there's what the cover looks like there's the little stockings so here are the stockings there's three of them in there so if you want to do ronnie's stocking style you could cheat and do little itty bitty stockings or they're, one stocking yeah, they're little stockings. yeah yeah <laughs> this was my this was my um unicorn piece when i because i collected the whole series and this was the hardest one to find until they re-released it so it was very fun to actually have that one i need to pick this series back up and finish stitching on it this is april showers look at this one this is the april one 
I love this um, piece, this one right here, the stocking. And then you've got the other two um, ones there. There's always one in the series that you like the most and the other two you're like, do I stitch them, don't stitch them? And then you're like, I gotta stitch them because they go together. This is the May one. Oh, look at the little snow, little snow. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Snowdrops. What? I'm with the camera. Earthquake. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the May. Oh, where's it? May flowers. Oh, wow, look at that one. Okay, I don't know which one I like the best. I like all three of these. This one was kind of cool right here. This was the first one that caught my eye. This was kind of cool, and then this one is really fascinating. So it's, they get you. But they're only like this, they're only like maybe that big. That um, one little. I know because I make it yours. Okay, here is uh, Glorious June. This is the June one. And the June oh one because because June is about marriage and babies, so here would be like the wedding quilt. You know, for quilters, that's the wedding rings, and then this is the stork for the baby, and then you've got the little yellow roses or yellow flowers room right there. So it's a very that fun. is that one is the star. Gorgeous. Yeah, what is calling this? It's a stork. Stork. Uh -huh. Yeah, la cigüeña. Okay, and here is uh, Patriotic July. It's got the little house, oh. little house with the flag. Oh, let me show you this one. It's got the house with the flag. I love that one. And then it's got this one right here, the little quilted uh, Patriotic. And then you got the rose, the roses right there. I, this house one reminds me of one that, that was done that but it's similar to one that I've seen before, but it's not the one that's out there that people are looking for. <laughs> I think he's gonna stitch some of my stockings. Good, they can get done. <laughs> oh, and the, and the, when the shark come in this, um, the outline to, to cut it. To cut the, the... Here is August. Yeah, so you can stitch, that. you can stitch your August one, sweet August. Mm. So it's got right here is the little white house, some flowers, and then you've got um, this is thistle, and then this is a poppy, an orange poppy. Yep. It's not a sun, well, the sunflowers on the picture, but no, and this is a sunflower, sweetheart. Oh, sunflowers. Yeah. It's a house and sunflowers. I know. <laughs> I so, saw this one, but I'm like, where's sunflowers? Some they have this flower. <laughs> All right, and poppy. I love the poppy. The poppy is one. That yeah, I don't know about poppy, but mm. I know there's some flowers. Yeah. Have and then here is flea market <coughs> souvenir. So this is one that you stitch on three different fabrics and then you sew them together. <coughs> Excuse me. So it's um, flea market souvenir, show the collected look. But you could do it all on one fabric and stitch it once all together like that. I think it's really cool too. Yeah. How do they have it? Okay, they have it divided as three little charts, so it's easy to, to stitch together or separately. So it's pretty fun. Yeah, if somebody know like to do that in three different fabrics, you yeah. can do it in one fabric. I've seen it done both ways. I, I kind of like it all done on one single color fabric. So you don't have to worry about doing the stitches. They do the stitches. They, they've done like big X's to... After they sewed it together in the back, they did big itches on the top of it for back stitching. Yeah. This is one of my favorite ones in their stocking series. It's not little like the other stockings. It's a little bit bigger. This is the crowning tree. And I, so there's the crowning tree. 2011. Yeah. I think it's cool because the way they have it sitting on like the dinner table, like you could put the silverware in there for a party, but then you don't want people to touch it. So I'm not sure <laughs> why we do that or not, but I still think the idea would be cute. That means you'd have to stitch it eight times. <laughs> um, and somebody, no. Not with I dirty don't fingers. I put it in my, in my table. All right. Okay, here is uh, their, one of their Halloween books. This is Twix or Tweet. So it's got quite a bit of little charts in there to do. This was the one, the main one from the book. That was the one that I wanted the book for and it's what I stitched already. I need to get it framed. But this is 
Twix and Treat. Tricks or Tweet? Treat. Twix or Treat. So it's pretty fun. And then here are more stockings. So this is uh, Tis Halloween. So there's 13. I did stitch all of these and Ronnie made them all. So it's 13 stockings. Look at the candy corn one with the trick or treat there. And then there's another can all candy corn one in the back. So there's 13 different stockings. Yeah, they are pretty small. They were so fun. To do. I know, I'm so in it. They were so fun. And what's good is about that is like you have all the scrap material, scrap pieces of fabric from your bigger projects. You just need a little piece and then you can stitch them all up and, and not waste the fabric. Here is the mm -hmm. September stocking. So um, this is would be a school, ABC, one, two, three. And then here are, I don't know what this other two is. This other two is, this is a fun one because it's very geometric. I love the geometric one. And then here's a, like a little house flower or something. Hmm. Morning glory. I think it's a morning glory. Is that a squirrel? <gasps> it's a squirrel with nuts and morning glory. That's interesting. <laughs> And October, I did, did I do that? I think I did the October one. This is October Harvest. I remember doing this one. It's a full coverage. You stitch all that there, but it's not that big and it's very fun. It goes, it goes very well. So you stitch all the stuff and then I, I did the back cover in the background. And then here's the other two. Look at that one here's all single color. And then you got this one down here with the blue bird and the birds there. It's very fun. And then we have another series. This is the loose Ooh. feather series for the birds. Uh, this is It's Spring Fever. These are little charts, but they're a little deceptive. They're a little bit bigger than what you would think, I would say. Because these are, oops. These are about, um, stitch count, 91 by 91. So it's a good size. You know, it's not teeny tiny. So they're good size patterns. Mm. And this is the light up on the lawn. It's another house. And then you would change the B out for your initial. So you get to customize it to you be your initial. All right. I almost need the camera again. <laughs> and this is she she sights a bird. Oh, those are cute. There's a cat there, a spotted cat. And then um at the hills echo a lot of these are just birds this is like a it looks like a peacock kind of type of a peacock yeah. or something and you notice they're all pretty tonal with the same tones greens and blues for to go as a collection this is sing a song of seasons all right Oh, that's that's again. This is pleasure of the fleeting year. Another peacock. This has got a peacock with the tail up. And a nice little white house for our house people. And then the last one in the series is the last ripe berries. That's a very plump bird. I think he ate all the berries, the first one and the last one. Look at the big bird. And then the little birds down there, like I didn't get any. Yeah, that's a beautiful bird. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, oh, yeah. then we've got two more here. We got oh, yeah. these are deck the halls, these are the blackbirds, little berries. I still have those to do. I love the little color, the berries that they've done there. And this is, um, Bittersweet September. I think this has been re re-released in part of a book, but we have we do have one of the little minis. So it's bittersweet September. And we still have one of those. Cool. Okay, now for the books. <laughs> you guys still with us? <laughs> I won't be up all night editing. This is a heart remembers. Again, this is one, it's got a whole bunch of charts here where you can stitch them on separate fabrics and then piece them together. I've seen it done like that and I've seen it done all on one piece where it's not as distracting. If that distracts you, it's gorgeous all on one single piece of fabric. Yeah. Or stitched individually. 
um, and finished as separate little things. I love their books because they give you so much in their books. That is very fun to do. All right, now we have the... Okay, so, all right, so Ronnie's putting them in alphabetical order. This is the fruitful... No, I got it the way it was. This is, the, one of, this is number six of the Abyssidarian series, The Fruitful Vine. I guess we don't have any of the others left in the series. These were kind of like their hit or miss. I'm not sure if any of these are still in print, the other companion pieces. This is Agnes Platus Strawberry Sampler. Platts. Platts. Sorry. Strawberries. Had me at strawberries. Look at that. So you got that one, and then you have those two. And I think there's some more in there. Oh, this is that one bigger. All joys for thine. Look at that. It's interesting. This is a reproduction. So this is the re reproduction, and this is the original. So they've taken it and then they've converted it to something newer. Very cool. All right, and then we have and blossom as the rose. I love this one because it's very soft mm. and it's designed to fade into your fabric. So fabric choice has to be really close to that faded color. Because see how it's, they're stitching there, but it's all faded in there to give it that look. So it's, it's gonna be, as Ronnie says, tough to stitch, but it's gonna give you that look that you're like, oh, I like that. This is Anniversaries of the Heart Pattern 2, Valentine Rose. I love the brick house. Mm. Oh, what's your name? Valentine Rose. Okay. And this is Anniversaries of the Heart number three, A Wish for You. Okay. Is that a rabbit? Yeah. Rabbit house. Then we got uh, number four, uh, Pink Hill Manor. I know there's a whole bunch of people stitching these at one time. I remember there was a big... All, I kept seeing all the posts about the updates on these. This is number five, farmhouse. Hey, it's Blackbird. You got to love houses. It's... Hmm. <laughs> this is number six, happy birthday. Oh, that's cute. You stitch it for your friend for happy birthday. Okay. Then we have Swan Lake. Oh. So I want, do you change the... Okay. Oh, looking back, swans. There. They just pop, don't they? Wow. Right there, Swan Lake. This is Claire. Claire Ellen. This is number eight. And they do throw a little bit of specialty stitches in this one. The roof is done with the satin stitch to give it like a little thatched look. So that's kind of cool. And then we have Moonlight Visitor, number nine. It's a, I would say that's a moth since it's moonlight visitor. And there's a little doggy there in the corner. Okay. Number 11, Evergreen Lane. Wow. The border is super cool. All these houses. Beautiful. Yeah, and here is finally number 12, Remember <laughs> Me. So I think what I've, I've seen some people do is some of these have names on it. I think people have some people have stitched them all together and put their family members' names in there. You know, throughout the history, yeah. they went back like all their grandmothers, great grandmothers, and stuff like that, and kind of made it like a family thing. Now we've got Birds of a Feather. This was a re recent re-release that they did. That was a very hot one. Look at that with the lolly. I call them lollipops. Birds and lollipops is what I call it. But it, the collars are so cool. It's got those oranges and teals. It's just very interesting. For me, it's a different kind of sampler that's not normal. This was my favorite. Now you we're getting, made that one. I made this one. Uh, casting a spell. That was very fun to do. And the box came from uh, Hobby Lobby. So here, here is the... They give you the information for this what little box. This? Uh, I think it's in Princess Leia's room. Oh. Yeah. 
And then here's Cats on Parade. That one you did. Yeah, too. I did this one. I love this one. This was a very fun one to do. I don't do a lot of patterns all the same color, but this one was really cool. Vanna now, finished for you. Yeah, Vanna finished yeah. it for me. Now, I changed mine because the orange fabric I had, I had just enough to do the round piece. I didn't have enough to do the top. So what I did is I kind of reversed it. I had a black piece of Lugana, and then I changed the star to orange. So mine is kind of, I kind of flipped it out because I, I really wanted to use that orange fabric that I had for this piece. Mm-hmm. All right, here is, uh, this is number three in the Christmas Sampler series, Bring good, Bringing Good Cheer. Look at those. Those colors are just amazing. And this is a reproduction <laughs> from uh, a girl that was nine years old. So this is what the reproduction looked like. The original, and then they've, they've updated it and oh. you know, changed it a little bit. The inspiration. Huh. Yeah. And this is Christmas Rose. This is number four in the Christmas Sampler series. I love the little deer. Christmas Rose. Oh, the rose, I guess the rose would be, right, that's a rose, and that, okay. But I like the deers. I think the deers are super cute. And then my favorite, my most favorite one, I have to finish a couple more of my Blackbird designs before oh. I do this one. This is Felix Navidad. I love this one because it's got Merry Christmas and then Felix Navidad. So it's got the two tie-ins together and the colors are just amazing. I love those colors. I know it's an alphabet, an alphabet, 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 but it's still super cute. Cool. How many alphabets are on there? <laughs> this is Come Into My Garden. This is another big one. Look at that. She is gorgeous. These are amazing, amazing pieces that they do. Ah, this is my next one that I want to do too. This one I want to do, I think I want to do this one twice because I love the monochromatic look of it and I love all the color look. And I can't decide which one I love the most. So here is... The monochromatic, this is, I mean, the monochromatic is right here with that salmon-y pink color. And then <laughs> here is all those gorgeous colors. That reminds me so much of Germany that I just love it with all the crowns and the shields and all that stuff. So this is crowns and shields. I mean, it is my favorite, favorite, favorite one. I finished this one. I changed the fabric to blue. There's a million more. What? This is your favorite, favorite one, plus a million more. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I love it. I collect them. I'm a collector. This is Chris, early Christmas morning. Early Christmas morning. I did mine on a blue, and it, I think it popped a little bit more Christmassy for me. But the, this is very cool, too. It's a big, it's a big thing. It looks like those grandma tins that have the cookies in it. It's that big. Wow. And this is... Feast of Friendship. I did this one right here. I did this one with the Vicky Clayton threads. Feast of Friendship. Those blues are uh, so intense. And this is is actually fun. It was you're thinking like, oh my god, but and then the border, I just loved it. It's not a big piece. No, not really. Mm -mm. Flowers of the field. It's a sewing bag and pin cushion. So here's the sewing bag. And then here's the pin cushion. Okay. Oh, Frosty's Night Out. I finished, oh yeah, I finished this one and Ronnie put it in a little clock finish. Oh, that is the one? Yeah, Frosty's Night Out, cool. I did this one. They made a little drum out of it. They made a little short, fat drum, but I, I've i got a clock and Ronnie put it in the clock for me. So it looks more like it's in a snow globe. Yeah. I haven't done this one yet. I can't believe it. Halloween greetings. And it's done with that Weeks Dye Works thread, which it's a black and orange, and it just does itself. Is it Trick or Treat? No, Jack or Lantern. Jack or Lantern is just two colors, orange and black. And it's very fun. Very easy piece. Mm. I've never seen this one. 
What is this one? Oh, it's over there. Okay, this one's over there. This is Hats Off to Uncle Sam and his little patriotic drum. Mm -hmm. You stitch just the top of it and then you have the sides around there. I don't know. I have to find mine. I think it's out. Honeysuckle Manor. This has got quite a bit of patterns in here. It's another book. So you, this is the one on the front cover. And that's Honeysuckle Manor. And then here's two more that's on the back that's in the book. And there's some others in the book as well. I think, I think that's the one from the cover. That's the same one from the cover, but it's the finish. But there are other patterns in here. I don't know how many. Let's see. Sometimes they tell you. Um, it's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different patterns. Wow. Projects to do in this book. Humming of the bees. Oh, wow. This is cool. Look at this. Look at that, that brick. Humming of the bees. That's fun. Do you change the A out for your letter? Do you change the... Right there. Sometimes you change the letter out. <coughs> if there's a letter here, sometimes you change it out to your letter. Oh, oh. Wow. Yeah. Because you got the alphabet up there, so you just pop it in. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is another one. This is uh, In Friendship's Way. This is a bunch of a collection of patterns. So this is one that I love too because it's got a bunch of berries. So it's got blackbird designed berries, which is the long skinny pointed ones. The other one had the little fat chubby berries. And these are, there's a bunch of little patterns in here to do in Friendship's Way. Here is uh, Leona's sewing box. So here's the sewing box. Oh, I love that. Yeah, and then I'm going to show just this bit right here. Here's some little pin pillows that are in the book also. I still have to do this one. I love their patriotic ones. Ooh. This is Liberty Eagle. You want to do it? Wow. And then there's two patterns. So you've got the Liberty Eagle with the eagle and the alphabet in his chest. And then you've got a little pin pillow with just, he's all one color right there. Aww. So he's a cutie. Yeah. I like the back one. Give it a little bit easier. Yeah. Uh -huh. This is Little Birds. Look at all those. Look at all that. Where's that at? There. So it's two houses, two dogs, a bunch of little birds. You know those dogs are fun because you know those dogs are barking at all those birds. That's exactly what they're doing. Because I knew one that would be doing that. Yeah. All right, this next one is, is um, you, it's three patterns, but you stitch it all together. A, B, C, here it goes. <laughs> Ready to put it in order, but it's summer is first. So here's summer. So it starts with A, and then autumn comes over to G. And then winter is the rest of the alphabet. And then if you flip it over at the bottom here, you'll see it all stitched together. Cool. It's a. Hmm. That one's on my list as well, as you know. All right, so here is Linda R. Co Lydia. Lydia? There's no N there. Lydia. R. Cahogan. Cahogan. Ka I'm sorry, Cohagan. Lydia Cohagan. Lydia. <sighs> Lydia R. Cahagan. There she is. <laughs> there. Every put it, you put in letters. In the I add letters to words all the time. I'll change your name right. all day long. I got two. Oh. This is Strawberry Fields Forever. This was from the um, Magical Mystery Tour series. One my, this was my first one I bought in a series because I love the Strawberry House. And then I realized it was part of the Beetle collection. So, mm. there's that. This is Maria Shelby Humphrey, 1831. So it's a, it's a bunch of patterns in here. You get the drum, you get the pattern there, you get the pattern up there. So it's got a couple of different patterns in here to do. What is this little thing here? 
or it's something else. So here you've got, oh, they don't give it, no, there's that. I like the drum, I love drums. I think they're so much fun because it makes your stitching, I feel like it's 3D. Yeah. And this is Mary Ann Blackburn. Another collection of patterns to do. Got like a little, here's your sampler down here. Then you got like a little part to go in a box. I'm looking at that box. And you got right there. Is that the same box? In yeah. There? Oh, it's the same box back here. Yeah. So here's here's a, the little bird and here's a bigger picture of the box, I think. That's gorgeous. Yeah. Merrily, merrily, we welcome spring. This is a big one, but it's so pretty. When I saw someone, I, this one was stitched. Look at that, that is so cool. Right. Oop, Midnight Ride. This is another one I've got done into a little metal clock over there, Ronnie did it for me. <coughs> Midnight Ride. So you get that pattern. They put it on top of one of the, the shaker boxes. I still have to stitch the little hat, the little pin pillow hat. So I have that still in my stash. Midnight Watch. I love this one. This one, I want to take the words Midnight Watch and I want to remove the alphabet and put Midnight Watch here. I think it'd be spookier hmm. than just alphabet. But I got to figure out how I'm going to break out the other lines. Dear Hearts. Look at that one. Just in time for Valentine's Day, the little hearts there all over there. White hearts. Yeah, you, yeah, you got time to stitch this up for Valentine's Day. Oh yeah, of course. Hey, you got 30 days. Uh-huh. My heart can rest. All right, so I think that's the whole thing right there. Look at that, that's pretty. The scale is, it's very weird because it's got like, it's very, um, doesn't look old fashioned. It looks like very modern the way it's laid out. Makes it look like a modern piece to me. Okay, and then we've got Oh Joyous Day. I know a lot of people will stitch this and they just love saying it because Oh Joyous Day sounds like a great saying. But look at that piece. The stitching in the middle is really cool. These things, it's bigger than what you think because those things are really big and it's a gorgeous piece when it's stitched. And now we have another big book of mini projects. Ooh la la. So here are some of the projects here. Then we go up to here. And then we come over to here. <laughs> look at, oh my God, look at all these patterns. This is just amazing. What do you see there, you? Ooh la la. Oh, I'm thinking it's oh la la. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> or is it oh la la? You guys tell me what it is. Oh, la, la, oh, you, la, la. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's only three letters. I can't even oh pronounce three God. letters. Okay, here's our <laughs> lasting friendship. Okay. <laughs> Oh, wait, this is a bigger picture. Uh, Look at that. I would love to see this. <laughs> Perfect timing. Yeah. So this is a fun one where um, <laughs> people Excuse have, me. what you do is you, uh, I've seen where people in the circles there, they have their, sorry, the circles right here. You stitch your friend's initials in there. So you could pass it around. You could stitch all of it and then pass it around and have each one of your friends put their initials in there. Oh, cool. So it'd be kind of, full, kind of fun. Peppermint and Holly. This was a very, very sought after pattern that finally was re-released. And it's that one right there is, is one that's in there. That's the main one that's very popular. And then we've got some of these others here. And then we've got all these back over here. I'm trying to see, I love that one. Uh, is it focusing? Yeah. And then that one right there is cool. Crusaders. No, no, it's not Crusaders. Um, no, um, it's... Um, my flower, no? Yeah. I am. Um, it's um, no, Amaryllis. It's, 
Vilgus. Amaryllis? No, it's not Amaryllis. No. No, this one is the Amaryllis. That is Amaryllis. Yes, that's yeah. the Amaryllis one right there. Yeah. And then there's even uh, there's even a punch needle pattern in there if you like if you do punch needle also. Yeah. Here is uh Raven Raven Bewitched. This is the in the original colors. If you can see I did mine. I I copied someone else. They gave me their, their conversion to do it more orange colors. So I removed some of the purples and did it more orangey. Yeah. Here is um, Sisters. This is a book that's got some great um, autumn -y designs in there. So it's Sisters, and it's got that first cock crow there. And it's got uh, right there. Let's see. I don't. It's so hard to show patterns in their books because there's always a chart yeah. next to a picture. Uh, here's Summer's Last Rose. This is kind of cool. So you get in that little box, there's a little pillow. So I did that right there. That's a good book. Everything in this next book is on my list of stitch. It's Sweet Land of Liberty. And, oh my gosh, I want to do the whole book. I love that piece. And this one right here, and that right there. This one right here is Abigail. What's it called? Abigail's um, uh, Salute to Abigail. And it's all done in Gloriana silks. I would love to do that one. Either in the Glorianas or Belsois or um, Needlepoint silks. Whatever one I could find to make the colors. But that one is, is these are the, definitely want to do that whole book. Wow. Uh, this is The Bells on Christmas Day. Oh, here's the main pattern in the book, Bells on Christmas Day. And then you've got a couple of smaller pin pillows and little segments you can do in the book, which is very fun. And this is... The gift is small. So here's some great items in this book for like a smalls exchange. So this is the gift is small. Mm. And this little drum there. Here's another, oh, it's the same picture as the front one. Yeah. Winter is past. For more blue themed in your designs. Oh, this was this one. Uh, uh, MG. Yeah. This is United We Stand, another one that I have all kitted up and ready to stitch. So this book is United We Stand, so it's got the pattern for that. It's got the pattern for the scissor holder. And then there's this pattern back here as well. That eagle. Oh, my It's gosh. a square. What it is, it's a square pillow. So you do a square, and then you stitch... There's words around the edge. Um, it's um, it's okay. See, so look at the edge of that. That's just the most gorgeous thing I've ever seen. All right, this is violets blue for the. Um, I love, I love, but you is what stitched on there. Let's see, trying to see where it's hard to get. I think that's the picture of it. So it's got the violets, purples, and this is, I love, but you is what stitched up under the house. And then uh, we live in hope. This is another big, big, big sampler. With the boat, the boat's pretty cool on there. Oh, there's a mini one. So if you want to do the mini one to hold you over till you get the big one done. What remains? We got that one already. What remains? It's what remains is love. There's a cool one. So it's like a little carnation, a little carnation with peacocks. Peacock. Yeah. And then uh, when the leaves fall, this is got a lot of really good patterns in here this is that one right there and i think is this the one that's got the big super big 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 berry 
No, I don't think so. No. But this mm. is this has got some some amazing reprints that they've done. Some of these patterns were all individually, and they made them into put them in the book for for this one right here. And that was blackboard designs. But wait, there's more. <laughs> <laughs> there's more like, B. There's more B. There's more B. So now we have a. I don't know how to pronounce that one. No, this was right here is Boulder Valley Boulder Valley stitching. And this is always be an artist. This is super cute. Look at that. I love all those colors in there. And there is a conversion to DMC, so it's very easy to convert over. Then we got some Halloween pillows. Okay. Oh, this one I saw this stitched up in the little tin tart uh, bright star. So you could do it in the little tin tart as patriotic, or you could do it in the white and the red and green for Christmas. Christmas so it's the same pattern, just stitched two different colorways, and gives you a completely different look. Super, super fun. Yeah. And then here we have some Valentine. I love the Christmasy. Uh huh. Then we have Valentine, some little Valentine pillows. It's always fun to throw in multiple designers in your make pin pillows from multiple designers and make your dough bowl or your display uh, very um, eclectic and fun with the different styles yeah. of designs. And that is where we have for Boulder their Valley stitch, yeah. Stitching. Mm -hmm. Then we have just a few from uh, a new designer. This is Blueberry Ridge. Uh, this is the house on Strawberry Hill. Super Mine's cute. So cute. All right. And then we got Birds and Blossom Sampler. Yeah, it's a greenhouse. Ah! There he is. Birds and Blossom Sampler. Really? It's green. <laughs> <laughs> like I would lie. <laughs> I don't know. All right. Then we have a group of charts from. Um, by the Bay Needle Art. You guys remember her? Oh my gosh, she's got some very pretty one. I love this one. This is the Blue Hawaiian Garden with the with the blue palm trees. I don't like pineapple in the top. It looks like palm pineapple, tree. but they're palm trees, or I don't know, or maybe. Well, yeah, the, when the palm tree have uh, fruits. Yeah. Different palm trees have different fruits. Uh huh. Yeah. That one's, and these are all done with DMC, so it's very cool. Then we have Blueberry Blueberry Hill. I love that one. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah, that flowers. Yeah. I love it. Mm -hmm. And these are not very big. This is stitched on 18 count Ada, and it's only four inches by six inches stitched. I love that number. <laughs> it's just DMC. It's too many, too many charts that I want to do, but I'm too slow a stitcher. One day. It's, you know what? It's not a race. It's not a race. It's never a race. Uh, stitch what you like, when you like, how you like. Okay. Here is Be Kind. She's got a couple of cute little bee patterns. Be Kind. Be Patient. It will be done when it's done. <laughs> be Patient. I do have patience. And then here it is. Be Thankful. be thankful so you can do all three of these individually or all three of them together oh that's so cute this is um frosty's tree trimmings so again these could be little ornaments or little pin pillows but it's a frosty f snowman face in every little in the center of little um snowflakes that's so cute. I like it because the snowflakes are blue and they're not white. I love that. Maybe it's, it's more, look more uh, like a purple. Um, let's see what color does she use. She used um, seven ninety eight and seven ninety six. I think that's more of a bluey. Mm. Yeah. All right, there you go. And now we have wow. old sea captain's house. This is kind of cool. Look at, that. Look at the giant fruits there. 
And then we have Mr. Turkey. It's not a fat, plump turkey, but it's a cool turkey because he's been running around the yard trying not to get chopped up. <laughs> he's a lean turkey because he's been running. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, this, oh, okay, this one I want to do. I haven't done this one. This is Spooky Hill. It's one of the, it's a Headless Horseman. Headless Horseman one right there. That's super cool. Because if you look right up there, that's how big these pieces are. Oh, his head okay, I got it. I got it. See, I see, I see. And this is uh, Summer Cove. So here's Summer Cove. And then we have Winter Stocking. This is a cute one. Here's another stocking for those who want to join the sow. It's got a lot of white, a little bit of snow in there, a little snowman. And then... I love how it's you know it's finished differently. It's turned into a stocking, but they framed it and then put some uh, arrangement in the top. Hmm. There. So there's that. What else and that see? was by the Bay Needle Art. Okay. And now we have, we have the last one, which is a great one. The last one and only one. Which is a great one to end on. One Nation. As many of you know, this one, One Nation. From? From Bygone Stitches. Thank you. Yep. And this baby was created in 2010, and it is still going strong. It's got its own Facebook group. There's many people stitching it. I'm probably, I think I'm right. I finished all the stars. I'm about the white row. I think I'm in the white row before those last short red row or somewhere right around there. I want to pick mine back up in July because I started Many it. friends finish it. Yes, many people have finished it. I started mine last July. I want to pick it back up again in July and stitch on it for the July. Divider. So that, it's been a little bit longer this week, people. <laughs> that was all the bees we have on the shop. Yeah. Yes. So uh, thank you for hanging out with us. Uh, hopefully you got a lot of stitching done. Uh, if you missed anything, just rewind, stop, pause. It's all there for you. Um, let's see. What was it? Um, I think that's all we have. It's all in one. So, so thank you guys. Oh, one more thing. We will be putting a little video at the end of this video to show you how to open up the Cottage Garden. Threads, oh, yeah. We promised to do that. And I, yes. I couldn't find the video last week. So I found uh, the video. I think it was Peggy. Peggy, yes, yeah. Peggy asking, and I replied to her on Facebook, and I say we will do it. And last week was forgetting. <laughs> yep. Yeah. And, and I still have my two papers in the corner of that table. One for reminder, the R was given me by Lori. Yep. And second was for the uh, how to open the courage by Peggy. Yeah. Yep. That so uh, again, on the back of each me. one of the threads from Cottage Garden Samplings, it does have the the instructions on there. It's very simple. It's tucked. It's twisted and tucked in there. Once you you find out which one to tug on, then it all comes untwisted, and then they're all pre-cut links. But so Gary had the video. I'm tell he teach me how to do it, and I do it. But he ne we never had the time to he. We never had the time to get the time to do it. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about time. So yes. again, thank you for spending your time with us. Thank you. And we'll look forward to seeing you guys again next week. Yes. Bye. Bye. -bye. We let her see. <laughs> let her see. Oh boy. ABC. Yeah. Let her see. <laughs> <laughs> How many of you had to check out AB? Yes. Yeah, see us next. Yeah. See you next. <laughs> all right. Bye everyone. Bye y'all. There is the emergency door, it's done. Windows, French doors. I'm thinking by this time they could be finished by all the front, but no, they not finished it, but that is our front store.
Okay, we had a commenter that asked if we would do a, a tutorial on how to open this again. They, they didn't see the last video. So I'm gonna attach it to this current video. So this is the new packaging from Cottage Garden um, Threads. It's, um, it's squared off this way. This is their previous packaging. See, it's got the little scallop on the end. So on the newer packaging, it's got the instruction on how to unbraid it. There you go, unbraid it, and then separate it, and then you pull, how to pull the part, pull it out. These are pre-cut links, so we're gonna go ahead and, and untwist it. I don't know, see, where's it? I know it's tucked in here somewhere. There you go. <laughs> I didn't wanna rip it, so I was like, wasn't pulling as hard as I could have. This is, this is a very tropical color. So you've got the colors out, and then you've got them, separate them. So this is the length of the thread. Each one is cut the same. So it really helps when you want to do like, let's see, so you've got that going that way. And then to pull it out, you don't have to rip this open. You just pull, pull one, hold your, put your thumb right there, and pull. Once you, oh. okay. <laughs> All right, I know it comes out. There it goes, it's back. I had to put it back out. My, my thumb was pushing it in. So you pull it out, there you go. And now you've got your length out. And then you just separate your threads and you can stitch with. And then you just put the extra back in the hole or make another hole on your tag. So I hope, again, once and once it's divided out, once it's divided out like that, you, you unbraided it, you hold behind, you, you fill the nub there, you hold right behind it, and then you get one and you pull. Okay. And then there you go. Yeah, maybe what you need is untie it. Yeah, untwist it. Untwist it oh, yeah. from here complete. Yeah. That way it's not hard for you to... To pull it out. To pull it out. Yeah. Because so. Gary just untied it a little bit, but you have to untie it yeah. more. And, and then, that, yeah. And then, um, then I just tie it off on here so i want to try i wanted to try the older packaging to see if it still did this if it still is the same way because i think what they did is they changed the packaging so it wouldn't be all this waste you know it was extra manufacturing for cutting so it's more um look at that that was easier to pull out so it's just on the newer packaging it's got the instructions for you to read and you notice I didn't read anything. So look at this. This is a really pretty color. Look at that. You got all the colors there. So then, so the Ronnie said, pull it, unstrand it more. And then if I pull, I'm trying to pull from the outer edge. Maybe that's. You have to move more to the. Color. Sorry, I'm. I'm not a very good hand model. So if I put right there, and then pull. Oh yeah, look at that. It's coming out. Yeah. Pretty cool. So, you know, just tug on it to unbraid it and then, um, you know, pull it out, you know, un unravel it so it's not pulling on itself. Don't, don't pull on, don't hold on the nub here because then you, you're, you're stopping the thread from coming out. Hold it right above there to get the pressure. So again, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, so pick up a couple of packs of these and 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 play on on twisting them and opening them up. It's kind of fun. Yeah. All right. So thank you guys. Bye. Oh, okay. Let's leave you with a pretty little view. These would make a good. Look at it. Very tropical coral and water. Uh, what's it called? It's called Sea Sea Change and Ezra. What was the color names? All right. Thank you. Bye.